Hey guys, we are back and we have a great update today for the Nintendo Switch and stay tuned at the end of the video because I have something really special I want to show you that you can use for your Nintendo Switch when it does come out and you don't want to miss it. So getting on to the news at hand, the Unreal Engine developers have released version 4.15 to the public and it includes 79 different updates for Unreal Engine 4. And one of the biggest updates, of course, is official, I repeat, official support for the Nintendo Switch. Now you may say, well, hey, you know, that's no big deal. We knew the Switch can run Unreal Engine 4 anyway. But the key is here is that this version is the full version of Unreal Engine 4, and it's going to include all these amazing updates that the new version of the engine has. And these are amazing updates, guys. I'm not kidding about this. So. First of all, I'll give you a brief overview of what they say on their website. It says, what's new? Unreal Engine 4.15 includes significant gains in overall stability, enhancements to developer workflows, and improvements in runtime performance resulting in greater efficiency during development and superior end-user experiences after release. Compile times for programmers are drastically reduced by as much as 50%. Reloading content while Unreal Editor is running, reroute nodes and materials, a new blend space editor, new mathematics blueprint nodes, and more contribute to an even more streamlined development process in this release. And goes on to say, developing for Nintendo Switch is available as experimental as part of the platform improvements. Then it goes on to talk about some major improvements to Unreal Engine 4, guys. Now this is key to the Nintendo Switch, so pay attention to this closely. It says, major improvements, improved texture streaming, the texture streaming system has been optimized to reduce CPU usage, memory usage, and load times while eliminating low resolution artifacts and automatically handling limitations of varying memory budgets of different platforms. So varying memory budgets would be the Nintendo Switch, say, versus PlayStation 4, 8 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes, right? Then it goes on to say, texture memory usage improvements. The texture streaming system now handles per component visibility and computes smaller per material bounds for static geometry resulting in as much as a 40% reduction in texture memory usage. Texture loading time improvements. Texture load times are two to three times faster due to tracking visible MIPS or MIPS, enabling the streamer to focus on visible textures followed by prefetch data and forced load data. CPU time reduction. Game thread update time is reduced by 50% by moving dynamic component processing and other tasks to the async texture streaming task, enabling them to occur in parallel with other game thread tasks. Texture processing stalls for streaming levels are reduced up to 98% due to amortized processing. Then it goes on to say, low resolution artifacts reduction. Mesh UV densities are now computed per material instead of per mesh and take into account LODs or loads. Texture streaming is also now supported in a wider variety of component types including particle systems and instanced static meshes. Automatic memory budgeting. The texture streaming system now automatically adjusts its behavior to deal with varying memory budgets without making manual tweaks. That's awesome, that's really key for a system like the Switch, right? Then it says, the system selects which textures need to be reduced using a variety of heuristics to maintain visual quality. Wow, okay, so that is really cool. So all that information is gonna be available on the link in the description. So what this means for the Nintendo Switch is that it's going to support this for developers using Unreal Engine 4.15 and it's gonna be taking advantage of these extra improvements all these things that reduce CPU load time, you know, that take the brunt off the CPU and all these things that improve texture memory usage and streaming of textures faster and automatically adjusting these textures to, for systems that require a lower profile, basically, like the Nintendo Switch that uses a mobile GPU and processor. It's going to need a, something like this for developers to use to make those tweaks be a lot easier to do for a smaller memory bandwidth and for less processing needed, basically. So that's really awesome that this update includes all these things. Now keep in mind that the previous Unreal Engine 4 version did not have all these improvements. So there are 79 different improvements that they were able to put in this new update. And it's great, great news that the Switch and developers are going to be able to use this when developing their games. 
Now we've already seen some games run on Unreal Engine 4 on the Nintendo Switch. Snake Pass is one of them and that game looks great. I don't know if you've seen it. I suggest go taking a look at the trailer for that game. It runs on Unreal Engine 4 1080p and 30 frames per second. And the developer of that game said that they got it up and running in about a week's time for the Nintendo Switch on Unreal Engine 4. So it's great news that they were able to do that on this previous version of Unreal Engine 4 and now they have this brand new version that has been completely revamped and optimized for much much better usage for CPU time reduction and especially texture loading improvements and using the memory of a platform to the fullest degree to get the most out of it without having a bunch of overhead basically and needing too much and bogging down the system. I think this is an outstanding update that the Switch could definitely benefit from. So let me know in the comment section how excited you are about this update and if you think it's going to encourage more developers to put their games on the Switch using Unreal Engine 4 at least for future brand new games. So that's it for that update. And as far as an update to what's going on with me and the channel uh, in the next few weeks or so, this Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, go tune in to Andrew Eisen's channel, and I'm going to be guest appearing on his podcast with him for the first time. We're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and all things Nintendo and whatever else is going to be on our mind at that time as well. So stay tuned to Andrew Eisen's YouTube channel on Saturday, 7 p.m. Pacific. And next week, the week of February 20th, I'm going to be having, finally, my developer podcast. And it's not going to be Nico Augusto, but I'm going to have another developer on for a brand new podcast that we're going to have. So stay tuned for that. And as far as Nico Augusto is concerned with Seasons of Heaven, I am going to have him on in the future. But he is still under contract with his publisher that he's not able to do any interviews just yet about Seasons of Heaven. But the game is in deep development and we will be having him on this channel in the not too distant future hopefully before e3 but we will see about that but look forward to next week for my next developer podcast i'm really excited about that hope you guys are as well all right i said at the beginning to stay tuned at the end of the video because i had something special to show you for the nintendo switch so here it is hey guys now we know that the nintendo switch has some concern from fans and consumers alike about the battery life of the system on a full charge and how long it will last well, of course, we know the specifications from Nintendo are 2.5 to 6 hours total before it runs out of charge. So the question is, is what are you going to do on those long vacations when you run out of charge? Are you going to be able to recharge it really quickly? And how long is it going to take? And it's just really inconvenient, right? Well, I have a solution for you. Thanks to the guys at Aki, or Auki, they sent me this review copy of their 30,000 mAh capacity battery, which is a, basically a power bank is what they call it. It is a 30,000 mAh capacity power bank. And this only costs $49.99 on Amazon, and you can buy it right now for the Nintendo Switch. And as you know, the Nintendo Switch is a 4,300 capacity mAh battery. This is 30,000. So this is USB-C compatible with quick charge. So you could theoretically charge the Nintendo Switch up to seven times just with this power bank. So this is an excellent, excellent purchase. I highly suggest anyone who's interested in taking the Switch on long vacations, you could take this with you and charge it up to seven times for your Nintendo Switch. Basically, battery life will be a non-issue with this product. So again, try it out for yourself. Here's the box right here. Yeah, and I'll leave the link in the description. You can buy it on Amazon. $49.99, you can't beat that for seven times charging the Nintendo Switch. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment, and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care.